Hello and welcome back to AWS reInvent. We are here streaming live from the Venetian in the Sands Expo Hall. And I'm, my name is Nikki, I'm an AWS tech evangelist and I'm joined by Wendy, Kashiv, and Brad. We're gonna discuss one of this morning's exciting announcements, Amazon Textract. So before we talk a little bit more about it, go ahead and introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about what you do. Hi, I'm Wendy, I'm a product manager for our new service, Amazon Textract. Hi, my name is Kashif Imran, and I'm a senior solutions architect in the Amazon recognition team. Hi, my name is Brad Christus. I am a senior director of our global pre-sales team with Alfresco, a partner of yours. So yeah. We were all pretty excited at this morning's announcement, but for those that missed it, can you tell us what Amazon Textract is and what problem it's solving for our customers? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so Amazon Textract is a new machine learning uh, computer vision uh, document analysis service. We have three features. One is uh, OCR++, so we are doing text extraction um, that understands context, so it's a lot more than just traditional OCR. Right. We also do table extraction and form extraction. It's incredible, I can't wait to actually get my hands on it. So what industries do you see benefiting the most from Amazon Textract? So some of the industries that we really are excited about are healthcare, finance, uh, insurance, so uh, industries where you traditionally think of as being paper heavy, uh, having lots of documents. Behind in the world. Exactly. Oh, no, uh, we just think, you know, still. Still on, on paper. On, still on paper or digital paper. Got it, so now they can join the masses and actually load in that paper and save the data and analyze the data, use insights from the data, all that stuff. Correct. So that's one of the problems that we're most excited about, which is accelerating how uh, how long it, uh, accelerating document processing. What might have taken days or weeks could take could be completed in in minutes, if if not faster. It's incredible. Um, another thing that we're super excited about is the new opportunities. Not just what um, accelerating existing workflows, but also opening up the opportunity to mine data. Um, so one of our launch wow. customers is actually using uh, Amazon Textract to look at medical records to get additional insights beyond just OCR, but also using table extraction to format that before sending it to NLP. That's incredible. It's going to do wonders for our customers. So does, Textract, does Amazon Textract integrate with AWS services, and if so, which ones? And where do you see it being used the most with? Uh, sure, so Amazon Textract uh, integrate with a variety of AWS services, so things that you would expect, for example, your documents can be in an S3 bucket, and you can call Amazon Textract to analyze your, analyze your documents. Uh, things like that you expect uh, CloudWatch, which will tell you how your service is behaving as you are using Amazon Textract. Uh, another thing you can do is, for example, when you extract uh, text uh, for using Amazon Textract, you can then use services like Comprehend uh, and analyze and get more insights. Those insights can then be stored in Elasticsearch. Uh, another pattern that we have seen customers looking into is using Amazon Textract to extract all the text and then storing it directly in Elasticsearch, for example, to enable uh, content discovery and making it a lot more easier to discover that content. Uh, similarly, as Wendy mentioned, uh, that Amazon Textract allows you to also extract tables. So in this case, uh, we have seen customers are extracting tables and then maybe doing some mathematical calculation on certain columns, for example, looking at min, max, you know, doing average or those kind of calculations. And on the fly, then storing those uh, results uh, you know, in whatever database, whether it's DynamoDB or Elasticsearch for later consumption. Uh, along the same lines, uh, another pattern we have seen where customers are, uh, again, using Amazon uh, Textract to extract uh, uh, forms, for example. So in case of forms, when you get those key value pairs, those then can be used to, for a lot of pre-population. So a customer might uh, you know, have a form, which then you have to go through a lot of manual data entry process. Right. So all of those processes can be pretty quick because now you get all those key value pairs which you can use to pre-populate uh, those forms. Saving time and work and effort. Yep, absolutely. That's incredible. Brad, you mentioned you were a partner. Um, do you already have customers using Amazon Textract? And if so, how are they using it? How is it benefiting their lives? Tell us a little bit more about your customers. Yeah, 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 no, so uh, not using it yet, right? Because we're going to have a live preview that's coming out. But uh, we've taken it uh, ourselves in our, uh, our digital business platform and uh, implemented solutions around financial services to better use um, the text extraction that's there, as well as the key value pairs, right? Pulling out 
cl and classifying information very easily. So what we're really excited about is that, um, uh, that this is very, what's the best word to use? Uh, th this is extremely exciting for us because we see this with customers all the time and we've seen it for a long time. Yeah. And for us, uh, and our customers, the value is how fast we can do it now with Textract, right? Yeah. As to Wendy's point where we said- uh, Speed. Where she, where, yeah, where she said, you know, hey, uh, we can do this within minutes. We've seen it based on what we've done with these guys and we've built a, you know, uh, demonstrations to show you guys later on how to do that. And I, we think that our customers are going to adopt this very, very quickly. So we're very excited. We have two questions uh, from our viewers. Java one guy says, is, text, is Amazon Textract available in preview or generally available? Available in preview. Available in preview. And ABOM TV asks, does Amazon Textract work on images, PNG, JPEG, etc.? It does. It does. Awesome. Well, you mentioned that there was a demo. Can we see a demo? Yes. So I'll start with a simple demo, and then I believe Brad has also built an application demo um, for one of his use cases. Um, am That's I awesome. sharing? I am Let's sharing. See. So what you're looking at here is an employment app application. So you uploaded this document? Yes. And so here you're looking at console. Here you're looking at the raw text, which is, in this case, semi-useful. What's it's really cool pulling out. is when, when you switch over to the key value oh, section, that's incredible. where you actually know that home address is a label. One, two, three, any street is the value that goes with that. And if you keep going, what you'll see is we can also detect tables. So we know that. Oh, it could create an entire table for you? Instantly. Oh my God, that's so cool. So what you see here is that we're able to extract all of the, all of the text, but we're also able to localize and understand where there are specific structure data that needs to be extracted as such and preserving that information. If I try another document. So can you, can you export that table somewhere? You can. So we, you can download it as a, a JSON, and then you, uh, the, the table structure is within that. So you can import it into like Dynamo, DynamoDB. Exactly. And so let's take another example. So this is a picture. Oh, that was not the example. Uh, sorry, I actually don't have the other example, but there oh, okay. was another example. No worries. Um, how about we switch gears over to the, uh, I believe you have a mortgage application? Yeah, yeah, as yeah. Well? So or? I think they're going to roll the video here, but. Uh, you have a video? Yeah, it was going to be uh, fired up here. Let's uh, take a look. Yeah, um, and while they're loading it up, there it is. Uh, the really exciting thing for us is that we have customers with this challenge all the time. When we talked about digital transformation, Andy yeah. talked about that this morning. Um, what, I, what I'm starting to see more and more is more of an automatic transformation when we can leverage things like extract and what you're seeing in, our, in the demonstration here, uh, which by the way is in our booth at the ARIA, booth 333, or 330. Um, we, we literally within, I don't know, a week, Wendy, built, yeah. put together uh, a demonstration where we're actually uh, mimicking a customer, uh, filling out a, a mortgage application online, and what that's going to do is basically start a process um, around that where they're then going to need to come into a brick and mortar, and we've actually right. integrated with the deep lens as well, which is kind of creepy, um, but pretty cool that's at the same time. That's kind of cool. Um, where actually the customer will come up, they'll identify the customer, and then from there, it's notified that they need to do the uh, W-2 verification around that, right? Okay. So, so from that, they take the iPad with the application that we've built, take a photo of that, that is then processed through extract, and then we do the key value pair and automatically populate the form for the loan officer automatically. Oh, and after they uploaded their W-2. Right. So you're pulling the values from the W-2 so you using Amazon yeah, Textract. So if you think about how you apply for a mortgage, you do it yep. anywhere on any piece of glass, right? Mm -hmm. um, but you still need to be, you know, either have your ID verified or your W or your income verified. And we're able to do that through Textract and populate the form for the user. Um, just autom in an automated fashion, so it's pretty powerful. And it's to incredible. Andy's point earlier this morning, when those W-2s change, right, yeah. Extract's intelligent enough to know that this is a social security number rather than retraining traditional old OCR software, um, and it knows automatically where to populate all the information, so it's pretty exciting. So as the forms change, Amazon Textract adapts. Yep. yep. That's incredible. We have a few questions from our viewers. Uh, a bomb, or wait, sorry, Eco Victoriano asks, are there APIs already available for Amazon Textract? Yes. Yes. A underscore Wahlberg, does AWS, does Amazon Textract wor work on images inside of PDFs? Yes. Yes. And then another one from Eco Victoriano, 
Is there a bulk process request API for Amazon Textract? So for bulk process, what you can do today is, so there are two APIs we provide today. There is a synchronous API, and there is asynchronous API. So if you have a small document where you have low latency requirement, you can use a synchronous API, directly call Textract, send your image as raw bytes, and we'll give you the returns back, as Wendy mentioned, whether it's text, including you know, table, uh, and so on. Uh, for if you have a larger document where you yeah. can have you know hundreds or up to a thousand uh, images within a PDF, you can just send that uh, call uh, asynchronous API, and in that case we can analyze uh, all the images within that document. You might have a use case where you have multiple documents with multiple images inside of those. You can again easily uh, implement those kind of architecture. For example, using a pipeline where document comes into S3, yep. it can trigger a Lambda function. Kay. Lambda can then start a job. Once a job is complete, we actually notify and send a message to SNS topic, which can then trigger another Lambda function, which take the results and store them in Elasticsearch, you know, DynamoDB, or whichever store you're looking at. Right. So you can very easily build these serverless pipelines to process you know, large number of large documents. Of and they only get used, the, the, the interesting part is all of that pipeline only gets used when your document comes in. So if you're not bringing in any documents, none of that infrastructure gets used. Right. So it's pretty optimal and efficient solution that you can put together pretty quickly. And cost efficient as well. Absolutely. That's, that's, honestly, that's huge, right? For our customers, uh, you know, it's kind of uh, in the space, in this OCR space that was traditionally OCR until you guys kind of yep. reinvented it today. Sure. Uh, it was kind of the dinosaurs eating the dinosaurs, right? And it was a big, kind of monolithic architecture that you had to stand up that was very expensive. And if you only had 20, 30,000 you know, documents or assets, it was very expensive to do. And now with Extract, you can just turn it on through the power of uh, AWS and pump it all through there and get all the information we need. So yeah, it's exciting. It's incredible. Absolutely. We have a couple more questions here. David R7777, what is the response time? It's four sevens. <laughs> so, uh, so we are in preview right now, but uh, we believe uh, the the synchronous API sh should pro provide near real time, if not real time. Real time. Wow. Uh, F Vasquez eighty says, does it work for unstructured documents? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, w C Hadri, how is this different from AWS Recognition Text Detect API? It's a great question. Uh, so. Uh, recognition text in the image is really meant for text in the wild. So when you think about text, um, there uh, people traditionally think of it in two buckets. One is text in the wild where there may be a stop sign and it says STOP kind of far in the distance and text is very sparse. And then when you think about Amazon Textract, however, it's really been trained uh, and optimized for documents. So very dense text. It forms. It, correct. So it's kind of the sparse versus the dense text use cases. Awesome. Uh, another question from Cooper, Jessica, Ann. Does Amazon Textract work on handwriting? It does not currently support handwriting. It does not currently it, support handwriting. It's something that we're looking at. Eco Victoriano, can this be coupled with recognition video? With the recognition? So do you want me to, I can answer that. Sure. Because So basically, uh, what we've done in our demonstration that's over at the ARIA, is we've leveraged video recognition with the deep lens to couple that with the trigger, basically a Lambda function to call when a customer comes in, right? So from there, obviously then they upload the information from a document. So we've coupled in kind of the video recognition piece of identifying who's there and then identi doing a identif identity verification through like a driver's license or something like that, so. Are we able to ask them what their use case is? Um, Eco Victoriano, what is your use case? Let us know. Another question in the meantime from Biff Naked One: Can it still produce fairly quality results with image degradation, such as due to faxing or multiple faxes? So that's definitely something that we looked, uh, we have trained on. So we expect that we will perform uh, fairly well, fairly well on that. Uh, but we are continuously training the models. So based on customer feedback, depending we'll on what they just get better and better as we go. Correct. Gridenock asks, can it recognize equations? It can recognize text and numbers and symbols. Uh, yeah. So therefore, yeah. It so, can. If those are yeah, the so it won't give you, uh, you know, per se there is an equation, but you get, for example, things like lines and words, 
and also you get like bounding boxes around those. So you can kind of pretty much use that logic to understand how close they are and see you know, if you can build that equation uh, you know, out of using that logic. So just a little bit of work that you have to do, but we give you pretty much all the core blocks that you need to detect them and do that, uh, solve that additional use case, for example. I have a question for you guys. How simple it is, is it for a customer to integrate Amazon TextTrack into existing end user applications? So simplicity of being able to use the service is my favorite part as a developer. Because I'm one of those lazy developers. I don't want to write lots of, lots of code, right? We both are, so, I think. It's, right? it's yeah. not lazy, it's efficient. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. So in, in this case, uh, using uh, Amazon TextTrack is very easy. You can, so if you are testing it, obviously you have console. But as a developer, you can use AWS CLI uh, to test it. But then we provide SDKs. So you can use you know, either Java or Python, uh, for example, uh, and then very easily call uh, the service. The response that you get back from the service is simple JSON. So as a developer, all you, all you need to do is to be able to parse that JSON and then integrate with and any other application, whether it. it's your mobile app. So yeah. you get the response back as JSON. You can pre-populate the form, for example, if that was you know, in response to a form image. Uh, uh, similarly, if you are maybe calling some other AWS services, you will see a lot of those API responses are pretty much you send some JSON and you get some JSON back. So just because Amazon TextTrack is returning you JSON, it makes it very easy as a developer to integrate with any other application or any other service if I need to. Right. It's like all the other APIs, the way that you use them, it's, it's very similar. Yep. So we got another question from JCW Boo 38 What about different languages? So, so, yeah, go go so today we support uh, Java uh, and uh, Python, but you can expect you know, other languages uh, will follow quickly for our SDK. Yeah. I, I don't know if he was referring to what if the form is in a different language? It'll still do keys and values so that. could and that. be that. So if the question was about the languages that we detect yeah. or the languages we could program. I don't know. We can answer both. Spoken languages. So I mentioned about it the language. spoken languages. Now you can talk about the spoken languages. Okay. Yeah. So we currently detect uh, characters that are Latin script characters. Um, so uh, primarily English, but we'll detect characters um, in, in other languages too. So uh, Spanish, French. We don't currently support accents, but we will detect those letters. Uh, All right. So the, the form detection is an interesting question. So we will still re detect the tables and, and, and forms, right. the fields and values, uh, even if it's in a different language. So it, it is language agnostic. Language agnostic. Yeah. But there is an interesting, I think, angle for this question where, so even though you know the languages we support today uh, to extract text, but in that case, you can combine it with, for example, Amazon Translate to then translate that text into other languages. So you're not you ingesting go. text in, in different languages, but you're ingesting whatever languages we support, but then output can be in multiple languages, for so, example. So yeah, you could use Amazon Translate to translate the text. Into multiple languages, yep. yeah. And then use Amazon TextTrack moving forward. Yeah. Um, all right, where can our customers go to get started? We have a preview sign-up page. And there's a preview sign-up page. We'll post the link for you guys. If you want to check it out, I definitely know I'm going to as soon as I get off the stage. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Really, really excited about Amazon TextTrack. Um, bye. bye. Thank you for having us.